Hello guys, my name is Hugo. Welcome to my channel. I'm Los Angeles based DP and I'm trying to experiment a little bit. I changed my setup a little bit to have this more conversational uh, format and um, today I want to talk about what is it like to shoot a feature film. As of right now I shot only three features and uh, it's not many but it's enough to understand what is it like. I hear many filmmakers uh, say that uh, all they want to do is just to shoot features but not quite everyone actually understands what kind of commitment it is and it is a quite a commitment and I'll explain why. Most of the time filming locations uh, are gonna be not where you live and it's gonna be elsewhere so you have to travel and usually features in an in indie world uh, will be from two weeks up to one year and uh, in average I would say uh, one month or two months so you have to leave your family for that long and it's not easy, it really isn't. I've seen many DPs who actually lost their marriages just because of it, because it, it is really tough to be separated for that long uh, time. And uh, like many of you can say that, oh, you can just go and uh, you can do uh, FaceTime, you can do calls, but just think about it. Uh, when you go on a feature film, uh, mostly if it's an indie production, the budgets are tight and uh, you're definitely gonna end up doing at least 12 hours a day and it's gonna be really really tight schedules and you, you simply not, go not gonna have time to do any calls at all and uh, all, only, the only time you're gonna have uh, to call your family or your loved ones since when you finish and you when you go home by the time you go home um, you walk into your hotel room and the, all you're gonna think about it is only the bed <laughs> because you, 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 you want to take a rest and sleep and the, yes you, you understand that you still have to call so it, it's hard and if you think about it if it's overseas it, it's gonna be even harder because the time difference uh, most likely by the time you finish uh, your family is gonna be sleeping already you see what I mean it's it's that kind of thing and uh, basically in between the uh, feature films I had I had like a big gap so I can take the rest and uh, rethink about everything but every time I go there it's just another stress and you understand okay this is this is really not easy you know besides that the uh, shooting feature film will really stress your body health uh, because all these shooting dates they're really intense and uh, the, the schedules are very different uh, you're gonna stress a lot uh, you're gonna eat badly uh, you're gonna uh, have sleepless night because you're gonna have overnight shoes they're gonna uh, basically ruin your uh, schedule that you may build build <laughs> for a while and uh, that's actually uh, exactly why unions uh, fight real hard uh, for not having overtime, uh, for having enough time for uh, turnover and if you think about like the, your diet, uh, your diet is gonna be ruined for sure because you have to eat whatever is accessible uh, at the time uh, and if you like to eat healthy you, it's gonna be hard to get actually what you need so of course there are some exceptions and uh, there are some productions that actually care about what you're gonna eat and uh, they're trying to watch your diet so you don't eat what you don't like or try, trying to accommodate but usually it's uh, you have to eat what uh, the majority of people eat in. but besides all the downsides of course there is a real magic in uh, doing a feature film it's uh, it's you know it's like it's a real team effort when um, so many people trying to achieve uh, one same thing when crew follows the director's visions and it's like trying to everyone's trying hard and do their, their best uh, to get what's best for the movie so you meet people you meet new connections you actually make really good friends uh, from all the side because from what you're going through uh, it just makes a real good bond um, between many of you so you make connections that can actually bring you more work and more future opportunities and of course you face uh, challenges you learn to, how to solve problems you learn how to compromise because uh, I can imagine a single movie that uh, didn't have a compromise so you have to learn how to compromise you have to find a way how to overcome things making a feature film it's a, it's a great uh, film school you grow a lot uh, as a filmmaker as a storyteller 
if you haven't done a feature film, it's a, it's a very different world. Let me explain. Before my first feature film, I shot many commercials, I shot many music videos. Uh, I can say it was pretty easy to me make a beautiful picture, but movies, it's, it's not about uh, beautiful pictures. It's all about uh, storytelling, it's all about how to show uh, beauty and ugliness, uh, how to, it's what about how to shoot, what's, what's best for the story and how you shoot this, it has to tell something. You have to learn how to work with 180 degree, you have to understand how to uh, bend it, how to break it, you have to understand how to, how the blocking works, how um, the camera moves, why, why do you move camera this way, why do you move camera another way, why sometimes you don't move at all, Every, everything has to make sense and everything has to have a purpose so it many things you don't do because it just looks cool it's it's more you know thoughtful um, about what you do and why you do this you have to understand blocking you have to understand blocking because that's what's gonna help you to get uh, best cinematography you can possibly get because most likely uh, you're gonna have to help your director to do blocking so everything all your actors move uh, uh, best for the camera and best for the lighting so you have to figure this out you have to figure this out and by doing uh, lots of research by watching movies and analyzing how uh, other directors do this or other cinematographers do this lighting is a, absolutely another story and it's all about efficiency in a feature film it's all about efficiency because sometimes even if you have resources even if you have lots of lights and grip sometimes you don't have enough time or you don't have enough crew or both and uh, you just have to find uh, the best possible solution to to get best possible results within case you're given so and sometimes uh, too ambitious uh, lighting set setups uh, can make everything just worse uh, for instance, you, you think that, uh, oh, I can make this cool light, I can get this light, light over there. And uh, if you don't have a track of time, you can get in trouble. And uh, believe me, it doesn't matter if like, if you, you, you can be the best DP in the world, you can be the um, best light, lighting person in the world, but if you don't have a track of time, if uh, if you can't keep up with the schedules that uh, are provided for you, uh, no one's gonna hire you anymore. Uh, you, you, you're just gonna be replaced by someone else because timing is really, really important on, on, on a feature film. It's more important than to make pretty, pretty pictures. So you have to be always aware about time is given for you. So you have to work realistically within time frame that is provided to you. If you're about to film your first uh, feature film, the key success, I believe, it's prep. And it's not only for a feature film, it's actually, it's actually everywhere and all kind of projects. Uh, the preparation is success, so you have, to, you have to study your script, you have to study, you have to do uh, blocking, uh, you have to do s s scouting, you have to think in advance about uh, what kind of camera movements you're gonna do, what kind of lighting setups will you do talk to your director, talk more about the project so you understand his vision and you, you are on the same page so you don't have any like uh, misunderstandings on the day of shoot thinking like you thought it's gonna be that and the director thought about that so you don't have a conflict of interest so in order to avoid this you have to talk to your director more and more to make sure that he showed you references, you showed him your references and you uh, meet a common point you know so you have to find a middle ground and you have to have clear understanding what you're going for work on your shot list just just be prepared you know by the end of the day uh, it's the director's vision you follow and you support and uh, you are the right hand of the director you are the eyes the vision and the, the support so you have to provide all that so I think uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know, I probably have something else to add, but I don't remember already. But if, I, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put something in comment, ask me about anything. Um, I hope this information was useful for you and maybe help someone uh, to get ready 
and understand uh, making a feature film better. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.